everyone. It's Nona Grace, and I am from Western New York. Today, I um, went to the county fair. I didn't bring the camera with me because I really didn't want to hang on to anything more. I did bring a jacket, but I really didn't need it. I hung it off my purse, and my purse was heavy enough without um, bringing a camera. But we did see an acrobatic, and we saw um, a bull riding. We saw that, and we saw a guy making brooms out of um, corn broom. Broom corn. Broom corn. Yeah, I said it backwards. Out of broom corn. I guess he has some of the Amish um, plant him some broom corn and he also buys some through the internet. But anyways, that was what we saw and then we saw some people weaving, um, weaving, spinning, not weaving, spinning. Well, there was a weaver, but we saw um, a couple ladies spinning wool from the sheep. And we went in the sheep barn, and we went in the, and I saw some baby pigs. There was how many baby pigs? There was 13, 13, 13 baby pigs. So Bob, I saw some baby pigs in real life. He's got, I don't know, 30 baby pigs. He's got a lot of baby pigs. He's got, I think, three, three sows that had babies, and they had quite a few. So I did see some baby pigs, and my daughter would be in her glory if she saw those pigs, but you look at the, how big they get. It's unbelievable size. We saw some pretty good sized cows and some bulls and some big sheep and little sheep and big goats and little goats and and we saw chickens and rabbits and a turkey and some ducks. I think that was all the animals we saw and then we saw some bees that were working and they were making two pods for two two queen bees because it was a, a hive that doesn't have any queen bees so they're making two of them and they're right next to each other so they're feeding them special so that would be interesting to see which bee gets to survive because they will kill the other one they only let which, one survive which one comes out first uh, is the is the winner is the winner oh gee that's sort of let's hope that i don't know if they're started at the same time then it's a fair battle, but if it started ahead of time, then it's not a fair battle. And I talk about battles. I brought some chicken scratch out to the hens, and Emma was so mean to Rhonda. She made her have a bloody face. But um, Rhonda, I guess, backed down. So I think Emma won the fight. This is going to be sad because Rhonda's got to take care of her babies, and the other babies are pretty much distancing themselves, themselves from the mama. But I think Emma is picking on her because of the babies, I think. I'm not sure why she's picking on her, but she is picking on her. And today, um, I also was watching, well, not today, but yesterday, I watched Homeschool Grammy, Kim, and they call Poppy, her husband, they call him Poppy. Well, guess what? They call my husband Poppy, too. The kids do. And... This says that he's too young to be called Grandpa, so he's called Poppy. And I'm too young to be called Grandma. Or too cool. Too cool. I'm too cool. Is that what it says on this one? Too cool? Yep. Uh, because I'm way too cool to be a grandfather. Yep. And I'm... Because I'm way too cool to be a grandmother. <laughs> That's why I'm called Nona. But we found these when we were in the Amish country uh, a couple years ago when we went on a bike trip. And I, and I thought, you know what, I want to share this because of homeschool Grammy. Um, Kim, she always, they call her husband Poppy. Okay, now I also watched Motorcycle Mama. Today she did a, a riding, she was riding, and she was, it was the, the video that she talked about was the five things that she tells her daughter, if uh, to, tells her daughters, because she's got two daughters, um, about dating Five, it was top five dating advice for my girls is what it was called. And they were, that was interesting. And it actually is good advice. I liked it. Um, and I also watched Mountain Crest Farms and he talked about government and licensing and certifications and how everything we do either needs a license um, 
or a certification. Now, like, I couldn't even teach a, a walk class without being certified. Now, everybody knows how to walk, and but I had to be certified, so I had to go to Florida to become certified. I have a license to do hair. Now, my father, I want to tell you about my father. My father, he was cutting hair when he was, gosh, he was probably nine years old. He started cutting hair. It was something that he had to do because the family really didn't have a lot of money, and he was... He was good at it. And so he cut everybody's hair in his family. And then when my brothers and sis brothers and even my sisters and me, he would even trim our hair, but he would cut the boy's hair. And when my son was old enough to get his hair cut, we were at a picnic and somebody said to him, well, gee, what barber do you go to? I want to go to that barber, which they can't go to that barber because it was my father. And my father didn't have a license. He could only do his kids, his grandkids, but he couldn't, and his brothers, and he could do um, my sisters and I, but he could not do someone else because he had no license, which is sad because he had a really good talent. He was talented. He would cut the hair with the scissors and the clippers and no guards on those clippers, and when I had to cut his hair, that's how he wanted me to do it, so I actually had to learn to cut hair without a guard and just use the scissors and the comb and do it the old-fashioned barber way. I also watched, oh no, I didn't watch. This is not a didn't watch. This I, I did watch her, but this isn't what I'm going to tell about. What I wanted, I had cheese on me. I had just had some celery with um, hot peppers. I really would have liked some pasta cooked with it, but I didn't put any pasta with it. I just had the celery. Like well, the day after, I'm going to go off track again, but here we go. <laughs> um, when The day after Thanksgiving, when you ate a real heavy meal, my mother would make what we called pasta celery. And what it was is you chopped up celery in the water and boiled it, and, it, and then you would cook macaroni and you'd use um, Romano cheese on it. And I put hot peppers in mine. I cut up Hungarian hot peppers in it. And because I'm on keto, I can't have the pasta. But if you do the celery, if you cook the celery in the water and do the hot peppers and the cheese, it's, it tastes just like the pasta celery, but you don't have the pasta. Well, what I was gonna say is because the, because, um, the winter, which for the, for, the, um, for the flag, did not contact me and the, he, it was AB's kitchen recipe and vlog. The next person that, now this is the real winner now because now it's up to you, Elizabeth. And her name is, her channel name is, I don't know how you say it, but when you when you break it up like in, in, um, in like if you're breaking it up in syllables or however they would say, yeah. Um, if you break it up like that, it's all one word, but I broke it down and it comes to the letter V dot honey, V dot honey. I don't know how you would say it, V dot honey. But anyways, Elizabeth, would you please send me an email? I will put my email address again in the, in the about or in the more section of this video, along with the other channels that I mentioned. I'll put their links in there too, in case you want to check them out and send me an email. And I will send the flag out to you. For, so now you are the winner of the flag. What? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't send me your, just your email. You have to send me your address, your your physical address, so mailing that I can address. mailing address. Yes. <laughs> He's got to send me something so I can mail it. I got. It's got to go in the post office, and it's got to be mailed to you. So Elizabeth, if you could do that, I would like that. Bye. Saturday, so I'm hoping you do it sooner than that because I really want to get this over and done with it. Who would think it would be that hard to give something away? <laughs> you know, I wouldn't have thought so, but it is. But I would really like to give you the flag. So, Elizabeth from V dot honey, V dot V D O T H O N E Y. That's how you spell her name, and it's all one word, but I syllabled it out to give it. Um, some meaning to me. I hope it's meaningful to you. But anyways, send me an email with your address and then I will mail the flag out to you. 
So that's my video for today. I hope you all stuck around to the end. And if you did, you can give me a little elephant um, emoji because there are elephant emojis out there. Or you can just write the word elephant if you can't find it. Just write elephant and I'll know what you mean. And I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.